Hello guys, welcome to this video. It's uh, it's gonna be something weird and different, I guess, or I guess not super different. We did a video like this recently where I just, um, I drew something on MS Paint and I guess some of you liked it, so I guess uh, we'll just keep doing that <laughs> if you like it so much. Uh, but anyway, this video is going to be me drawing and talking for a little bit, but uh, at the very end of the video, we will have a giveaway. As usual, you know, we always like to do our giveaways. So if you want to find out how to enter this giveaway, just uh, watch till the end because that's when I'll talk about it and how you can win stuff. Wow! So anyway, I asked actually in a post what you would like to see me draw in a video where I draw a bunch of stuff. And this is going to be kind of like that except I'm, it's not specifically me drawing a bunch of stuff. It's just going to be one thing in this video. But anyway, I, I chose this one by Welf, a comment by Welf. And it says, alligator in a box, that is all. So I'm gonna draw an alligator in a box, I guess, on MS Paint with my crappy mouse um, painting that I don't know how to do or have any practice with. And I also have never drawn an alligator, so <laughs> this is gonna be really bad. <laughs> I hope you guys are happy with this. Uh, and while I draw it, I guess I'll talk about it a little bit, and also I'm gonna tell you guys a story. So, let's start off with a box. Uh, am I zoomed in a lot or is it? No, it's okay. So this is just actually what it is. Let's do a box here. And then we're gonna do- see, uh, you know what, I'm not even gonna bother with that. Anyway, <laughs> we're gonna do an alligator. And I, I guess the alligator can have like hands like that. <laughs> okay, that's that's good enough. Um, so I'm gonna draw an alligator, and I'm also gonna talk about something. Uh, I got groceries today, and I got a candle. And this is the first candle I've gotten since not living with my parents as an adult. And it reminded me that my mom, when I was little, she told me that she used to go to... Oh jeez, that's a big hump. Let's get rid of that. My mom used to, when I was little, she used to go to candle parties. Do you guys know what candle parties are? Because, like... I knew about them as a kid, but I never knew what people did at candle parties. Like, do you just hang out with your friends and smell candles? Because that sounds kind of cool to me. I don't know about you guys. Like, wouldn't you want to just blow off really important things? And just be like, oh no, I, I gotta cancel on you. I can't make that because I have... I have things I gotta do. I have I've made plans before and you know what it is? It's it's a candle party. I'm gonna go hang out with my friends and I'm gonna smell candles. Like, wouldn't that be the best? <laughs> I think that's awesome. You cancel your plans to smell candles. You do that. Uh no, but please don't cancel important things for things like that. Really don't. Uh <laughs> Just in reality, don't do that. But that sounds pretty cool to me. I mean, I can't control you. You do what you do with your life. But, the yeah. Uh, the candle I got was some, like, $5 candle. And it was scented as, uh, it was, like, Hawaiian something and something else. And it's, like, a, like a mix between two different candles in one. And it smells really good. Uh, we just blew it out like before I started recording this. So it still smells really good right now. And it also looks really pretty. It was like a nice red and orange color mixed together. I'm working way too hard on making this back weird. Um, 
alligators have round snouts and crocodiles have pointy snouts so I gave this guy a round snout because he's an alligator and I'm going to also make his eye round I think I don't remember what the difference is in the eyes so I'm just gonna do a regular eye that I think would fit that's his eye and should we get his this is a massive box I'm just realizing uh, you know what? it's gonna stay there let's do a tail like this and let's get rid of that box here uh, but yeah my mom used to go to candle parties and I don't know did you guys ever have like memories of candle parties Growing up, maybe it was just me being born in like the 90s and growing up in the 2000s. Maybe it was like a 2000s thing. Uh, it was also similar, I feel like, to the whole Avon thing that adults did. Where they would like talk about their Avon orders and go door to door selling Avon. And if you guys are too young to know what Avon is, it's like a... Uh, it's like this, it's makeup, but like, people would go door to door to sell them and then they'd like recruit their friends to also sell them and then they'd make money. But, but then the person who recruited them would make money every time their friend made money. But their friend recruited them, so it would just like go up the ladder every time that they sold something. So uh, the, the first person who ever recruited someone ultimately gets like all the the money from it. I hope this is interesting to you, but I thought I'd tell you guys about Avon and candle parties. <laughs> I know that seems really weird, but that's what I wanted to talk about today. Candle parties and Avon. And I want to have my very own candle party someday, and it's just going to be me, and Harley, and my sister, and that's it. We're going to hang out, and we're going to smell candles, and we're going to talk. <laughs> talk about normal stuff, like hanging out like normal. Uh, I don't know why I decided to give um, the alligator these little spikes, but I felt like it was more fitting. Actually, let's color him in a little bit. And, okay, well, that didn't work out. Let's just not color him. But anyway, uh, let's move into the giveaway. This is the alligator in the box. Cute. Heart. Uh, so thank you, Wealth, for that suggestion. I drew an alligator in a box. Uh, for the giveaway, what we're going to do is we're going to be giving away... 200 gems to one person. It's not going to be split this time. It's just going to be outright 200 gems for one lucky person. And what you have to do to enter is you have to like this video, subscribe to our channel if you haven't already, and you have to comment in the YouTube comments, by the way, not in game. I don't count those it's a it's a YouTube giveaway uh, but yeah uh, leave a comment telling me or telling us I guess Harley reads these too tell me about your first pet in the comments uh, I'm, and I mean like a real pet not not a not an in-game pet um, yeah if I mean if you haven't had a pet though then tell me what kind of pet you would want and why I guess so yeah, that's that's how you enter. You leave a like, subscribe, and comment with your username, obviously, and then uh, tell me about either your first pet or if you could have a pet, what it would be. And that will be, I think, we'll announce the winner in community posts on the 11th, which is a Sunday for me. I don't know why I said for me, it's Sunday for you guys too. <laughs> and uh, I'll, I'll tell you a little bit about my first pet. I had a cat named Xena. 
and she was named after Xena the warrior princess. And she was a very sweet cat. She didn't really like us very much, but she was also very, like, tolerating. Especially since we were babies. And I'm- by we, I mean my sister and I, because we're twins. Like, it, it was hand in hand. Uh, she tolerated us as babies, you know, babies, like, pull cats' tails. I, I imagine I probably did that. And she probably just absolutely hated us. <laughs> but as as uh, we got older, she started to tolerate us like normal, I guess. I, I don't know how to put it. She loved us more, I guess. I'm not sure. Uh, but yeah, that was my first pet. So let me know about your first pet or what you would want as your first pet. And you could win 200 gems on the 11th. And I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really hope you enjoyed my rant about weird candle Avon stuff. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. That's about it. Uh, I appreciate you watching. And see you guys next time. Goodbye!